Welcome back to Good Morning Law, and we're so excited to be honoring hashtag Transformation Tuesday with an expert in her own right, mommy, influencer, <laughs> blogger, host. Um, thank you so much for being with us Thanks today. Thanks for having me. You make it look so easy. Oh, I don't know how gosh. you do it, but hashtag goals over here. Oh, God. Look at you guys. You guys are all amazingly you know, beautiful people in your own right. So thank you. Thank, you. thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. So Umi Desai, is that correct? Umi, actually. Umi. Umi. Okay, Trust me, this is, we've all been said a topic. Yeah, it's been a topic right. conversation. I think okay. it actually gets right to the whole point as to like kind of why I'm here and I started everything in the first place. I'm Indian. I, you know, back in the day when I was growing up in the 80s, not to age myself, yeah. but you know, when I was growing up, Ami was Amy, you know, that's what people thought it was. And it was something that I had to kind of really, my mom, I remember sat me down. She's like, listen, you're different. And people, you may not look different. People may think they don't know what you are, like very ethnically ambiguous. Um, people may think you're Caucasian. They may think you're mixed. They may think something, but you're Ami. And make sure you correct people. Don't let them call you, yeah. you know, don't let them call you Amy. And so it's so funny because even when we started, I was like, it's Ami. It's like something I've been trained to to think so well, and, and we just to clarify we mean absolutely no oh, no obviously. disrespect and, and no. just meeting people for the first time it is really interesting because a name does i have a very unique name myself yes and it is something i, I do i take pride in right. my mom gave me this name i want it to be honored and respected but it is so important to be able to own that within yourself absolutely. so you're confident enough to say you know what Th this is my name yep and it's okay i forgive you but this is my name no yeah and i think it goes even beyond that it's that whole thing of accepting and taking ownership yeah. over not only your name but for instance, for me growing up, it was really hard to think like, oh, I'm Indian, I'm not Latina, I'm not African-American, I'm Asian, but I'm a different kind of Asian. And so growing up, it was really hard. I didn't see a lot of people that looked like me on TV um, or that I could identify with food. You know, mm -hmm. I remember Indiana Jones came out and it was like, do you eat monkey brains? I'm like, no, I don't eat monkey brains. Oh you know? <laughs> Things like that. But I mean, on a, on a higher level, I remember being very young and um, identifying a lot with beauty and not being able to always find, m when, when makeup was something that was introduced to me, not being able to find my tones, um, things that really complimented me because everything was just off a little bit, you know, it was something for a different skin tone. And so I started learning how to play with things to kind of adjust it mm -hmm. specifically for me, which, um, which I think is why I have you know, evolved into mm -hmm. someone that does what I do, so which is really interesting Yeah, too, so speaking of, point. you know, transforming sales and yes. service, you know, I think there's so many lifestyle brands, people have to stand out in some way and right. really speak to their audience. How have you found, how do you speak to, how do you really engage with them yeah. and then take them to helping them solve a problem? Well, I, I loved what you said earlier when you guys were talking and you were saying, you know, it's one of those things where you realize you yourself are a commodity and you're trying to sell yourself and you're like, this is so weird. Yeah, I don't come from that age where, you know, I'm putting myself out there and I'm like taking pictures of myself. I also have two small kids who are probably like, what, at some point they're gonna be like, mom, what are you doing? <laughs> Mommy's crazy. Right, she's yeah, she's crazy selfie. taking selfies, uh -huh. exactly. And I think the reality is, um, is like you said, there's service behind the sales, right? So for me, I feel like I'm doing my audience a service. Like I have moms, new moms um, that reach out all the time. They're like, I just had a baby. I gained 60 pounds. I don't feel good. I now have to take, um, you know, newborn pictures. Mm -hmm. And now I'm going back to work. Everyone has this idea. I remember postpartum three months. I'm like, at three months, that's when we go back to work. So I'm going to be able to fit back into my clothes. I'm going to look amazing. It's just something that in your head you have this idea. Well, you saw all the pictures on Instagram. Right. You're like, <laughs> yeah, I exactly. saw them. Exactly. So therefore, you know. And it's yeah. this whole also with that comes with um, comparison, right? Mm -hmm. It's comparison. It, it really does rob you of, of your own acceptance and natural, like, who you are at the core. And it doesn't matter what age you are. But I do feel like something that has helped me a lot with what I do as far as selling things. Um, I don't really like to call it selling because I use my family. I even call my Instagram community like my family. Um, it, Insta fam. It, yeah, it's my mm -hmm. Insta fam. You know, it, they're not followers, they're family. And it's something that I use them as my focus group on what they're looking for and what I then can return um, as far as my honest feedback and advice. And I think it's great for me. It's a big niche because I see a lot of millennials doing things and I'm like, well, I'm in my mid thirties and I have different needs. You know, now we're looking at advanced skincare and, and things that are, how are you going to multitask? Like, how am I, you know, making lunches and also mixing in my skincare in <laughs> regimen? So how do you speak to them about it? Do you go on the Instagram stories and talk about your personal struggles or do you just like talk about what most of the people your age are going through or how do you do that? I, I Insta stories is a fantastic tool because you're very authentic on it. I feel like you're really real. You have 15 seconds in each story to kind of just 
put it out there and I've realized what people really want now is we're going back to the basics. It's not curated as much, you know, everyone loves a beautiful picture to look at on the grid, but really they're okay with me trying to do a tutorial and my four-year-old walking big mom, you know, or something. <laughs> and it's like, oh, wow, you're a real person. They want truth. Yeah. 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 And they want engagement they want and they want to see like, I do these things with my daughter, uh, Mila. We do like Mondays with Mimi and we cook and she'll just, she'll be honest. She'll be like, this is not good, you know? And I think it's refreshing to not have that sort of okay. picture perfect. Yeah. 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 And I think, um, and, and also I think what people seek too is just the diversity, right? I think diversity is a huge word right now. We're hearing a lot of inclusivity um, across the board, not only with color, but also age. And I think it's really great because women um, that are, I, I always call it the second awakening. It's like women in their 30s a lot are having, um, are, are deciding and have the option to maybe leave work before they have kids. And then they come back and they're like, well, I wanna work again, but I don't know if I wanna go back full time because I wanna be able to be mm -hmm. mother and do that first. And so they kind of looked to me and like, well, how did you get into what you're doing? And how are you doing? And how are you making an income um, and contributing to the household by doing that and doing what you love? So I, I love it. it. I feel like I'm kind of like the big sis. What know? did you learn about yourself in your own second awakening? Oh, so much. Well, one was that I literally thought I was like, I'm gonna have kids and then I'm gonna be driving a minivan and that's it. I literally thought that that was going to be me. And I realized that more than ever, I've never had more fire under my tush than I have after having children. Interesting. Um, having children was one of those things like I realized, and I think there are different buckets you can fall into, but I really fell into that bucket of like, I want to prove to my children and myself that I can do anything and everything that mm. I want, you know, because now I look at them and they're starting to voice their opinions about like, I want to be a basketball star. And I'm like, well, okay. And and I never want to deny them of their dreams, right? So I'm like, great, let's go play as hard as we can in everything we do. And I just feel like the same way that I teach them that I want to kind of just be preaching, uh, practice what I'm preaching. So I, I literally wake up every morning and kind of just, you know, put my big girl pants on and I'm like, I'm going to do this however hard it is. Well, in doing that, you've got some great projects you're working on right now. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah. So um, I have some exciting things like I've, I've been doing a lot of, um, you know, I guess host on a lot of um, great TV shows, which is really mm -hmm. fun. And so I get to do a lot of expert tips on that. But a lot of great partnerships have come out of doing this. So with some large brands, some I can't talk about right now. Um, but let's just say that it's something that is really exciting because it I think when, in, in my position, when you have a brand that you have trusted and looked up to and used for so many years, and now they're coming to you to be an ambassador for you, I think it says a lot. Um, and another thing that I am working on, my girlfriend, who's a um, really great dermatologist, um, her and I are mixing our backgrounds of beauty and skin and, and working on a product line. So that's Very really exciting. Yeah. 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 Well, congratulations. Thank you. So where can people find you? Okay, so you can find me on my website, amidesai.com, or on Instagram at amidesai. That's right. right. Check her out. Love it. Thanks, guys. Stay tuned. We'll be back with more. Good morning, La La Land.